Hi, my name is Lillian and this is my skill validation for nursing two skills. I'm going to be doing an NG insertion, irrigation, and removal. So I've done all my standard pre-steps, hand hygiene, and I've gathered my supplies. I've explained the procedure to my patient and I have a chucks for my patient and I also have an emesis basin and Kleenex. I would have that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Salem stop tubing um, and I'll attach my anti-reflux valve. So I need to measure how far this needs to go into my patient's stomach. So I'm going to take this from the tip of the nose to the ear lobe and down to the xiphoid process. And I'm going to mark that with a piece of tape. That's how far down I need to go into my, to get to my patient's stomach. So the next thing that I need to do is um, I can take this and just wrap it around my finger <coughs> so that I get the correct um, so that I can insert it more easily down into the nasal passage so that it's the correct anatomical um, structure. Um, I'm going to take some lubrication and just lubricate the first three to four inches of this. Um, I'm going to insert this, at first I'm only going to insert this three to four inches or until my patient starts to gag, hopefully before then. So I'm going to have my patient look straight forward and I'm just going to insert this and I'm going to hold it there and then I'm going to take my glass of water and I'll tell my patient to swallow, 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 <coughs> swallow, 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 until I get to the correct place. Now I'm going to take my piece of tape that's divided at the bottom and I'm going to be holding my tube here. And I'm going to wrap one piece down around my tube at first. Um, while I do my checks on this. Okay, so I'm going to take my syringe. And then for the first check, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 5 to 10 cc's of air and I'm going to insert it into my tube as I listen over the fundus of the stomach. I'm going to be listening for a swishing sound to indicate that it is in the stomach where it needs to be. Now, um, another check that I can do is I can aspirate 5 um, species of gastric secretions and I can take that and I'll have I have some pH strips so that I can test the pH and if it is between 0 and 4 I know that I'm in the stomach where I need to be. So um, I can take my tube, I know that I'm in the stomach so I can take my tube and um, I can finish winding this around. And I can hook my tube up to suction now. And what happens when you hook it up to suction is the tube is going to suction to the stomach wall initially. So I need to take a clean syringe. I need to take 5 to 10 um, cc's of air and insert it into the blue tubing so that I get it away from the stomach wall. So I'll put that in. And that would complete the um, insertion. And now I'm going to come back about 15 minutes later and I'll notice I'm not getting, in, getting any gastric secretion return um, from this suctioning. And I notice that my patient's abdomen is distended so um, I'm thinking there might be an obstruction. So what I need to do is I need to um, check and make sure that it's in the stomach first. So I'm going to take 5 to 10 cc's of air and I'm going to turn off my suction, disconnect my tubing and I'm going to try to insert this as I listen over the fundus.
of the stomach. And I'm not gonna I'm not getting any air going in. And I'm gonna try to aspirate for gastric secretions and I'm not getting any return. So I know that the my tubing is obstructed. So what I what I need to do is I need to take um draw up thirty milliliters of water into my syringe. And I'm going to put this into my tubing. And I'm going to pump it until I get that obstruction to move through the tubing. And once it goes in, I can disconnect that and hook this back up to my um, suction. And then I need to get it away from the stomach wall again. So I need to take a clean syringe, uh, 5 to 10 cc's of air once again and get it away from that stomach wall. So, a few days later I come back and uh, my physician has ordered this um, NG to be discontinued. Um, so, the first thing I need to do is again check and make sure that the tubing is in the stomach where it needs to be. So, I'm going to take, I'm going to turn off my suction, disconnect my tubing, and I'm going to take 5 to 10 cc's of air and insert this as I listen over the fundus for a swishing sound and then I can also aspirate for gastric secretions about 5 milliliters and then I take that over to my pH strips make sure that it's um, between 0 and 4 pH um, so I know I'm in the stomach um, so I can take a clean syringe if I know I've, if I've determined that I am in the stomach where I need to be. And what I can do is I can take um, withdraw 20 milliliters of water and then 20 milliliters of air, and I'm going to put that in my tube, and I'm going to go um, hold this upright so that I have my water down here and my air up here. The water is going to um, clear out all of the secretions out of the tube, and then the air is going to clear out all the water. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And I'm going to leave that attached. And I'm going to take this tape off. And I'm going to ask my patient to take a deep breath while I go hand over hand and just remove this tube. And that would conclude my nasogastric um, insertion, um, irrigation, and removal. And now what I go do is I go do my DARP charting and document the entire procedure.